It's an art. There's an art of snacking. In fact, maybe I'm gonna set up a company one day that sends out little different types of snacks and it's called the art of snacking. Hops, wake up, bud. It's the middle of the day. Stop sleeping. I know it's quarantine. Is that it? You're sad because it's quarantine? Oh, I'm a French bulldog. Dad, I'm a little bit sad. You've probably been happy. If anyone has enjoyed quarantine, it's been Hobbs because I haven't been able to travel. Morgan hasn't been able to travel. So what that means is a lot of at home cuddling, playing, Having a good time for this guy. He's probably tired because we played with him so much. We have been doing a daily swimming lesson with him. I would be a complete dick if I just took him straight out to the pool right now and made him swim back. French Bulldogs don't swim that well. Where I'm at, I'm not gonna lie, people really are tired of self-distancing. They're tired of, more importantly, I think having their businesses be closed. There's like 35 cases here in Southern Utah, so I'm not gonna say one way or another, stay home, go out. Like I think at this point, like some people's livelihoods are being affected, but at the same time, we gotta keep people safe. It's a tough predicament. So I realize there's a lot of people at home still watching this that um, can't get out. Restaurants here are not open, but they have drive-through, call-ahead, delivery services. But I know everyone be snacking in quarantine. Besides my snack named Morgan, <laughs> I've been snacking a little bit too. Oh, you heard that. She got a new air there. So today, I'm just gonna go over my favorite kind of snacks. All of these snacks are under 100 calories per serving. That's right, under 100 calories per serving. So you can have two or three of them and that's probably a good snack. And my thing is, is I hate snacking. You can easily eat 1,000, 2,000 calories if you're just constantly snacking throughout the day. That adds up. So if you're looking to change your snack game, I myself am dieting. Ab check. Mm. Kind of dieting. It's really hard to diet when your girlfriend's Morgan. These are my go-to snacks. Ah, popcorn's up. This is my favorite popcorn. If you guys aren't in America, you might not have some of these, but the key with popcorn is you listen to it, and when it stops popping, when the pops go to like three seconds apart, it's done. It's done. It's gonna be hot. So here I have my six favorite snacks. All right, guys. First one, everyone loves almond butter, peanut butter, but peanut butter and almond butter can have tons of calories. So the first one we're doing is a chocolate PB Fit. Basically it's peanut butter powder and it has like literally an eighth of the fat and calories. For a serving of this, which is two tablespoons, it's 70 calories, two grams fat, eight grams carbohydrate, and five grams protein. 70 calories there, you add one and a half tablespoons, whoop, and then you just stir it around and give it a go. I'm gonna use my handy dandy spork. If you don't have one of these, you gotta get creative here, guys. You can either have peanut butter or you can have abs, or you can have PB Fit and abs, you decide. So it just makes this nice little paste, and then I just bring out my rice cake. One of these is 30, oh, 35 calories. 35 calories for this, but I'm only gonna be using half of this. That is one serving, so if you can see, I'm still under. You guys are like, what, Steve, wait. You said it's under 100 calories. The PB Fit and the rice cake, that's 105 calories. Yeah, but one serving is only one rice cake and half of the PB Fit. So Morgan doesn't even know about this secret. We haven't dated long enough for me to share this one with her, and I'm sharing it with you guys first. Well, a year and one day. Ta-da, this right here, ready for it? Ready for it? 75 calories. Well, actually a little bit less than that. 70 calories. Healthy snack option number one. You want a bite? I'll make you one. Come here, get a bite. I don't know if you like it. You used to regular peanut butter. What do you think? Titling this video, Feeding My Unhealthy Girlfriend Healthy Snacks. <laughs> well, I guess you're healthy. That's pretty good. You like it? Okay. Yeah. Those, ear, those new ear pods are looking great though. Do you feel so cool enough? Honestly, I feel like everything's just so muted out. Doesn't Morgan look like Legolas from Lord of the Rings? Look into the camera. Look back at me. Look back into the camera. That's what I see. If you had a little hair part coming down right in front of your ears, you look like an elf. Just saying. I'm dating a girl version of Orlando Bloom. All right, next up is actually my girlfriend. Yeah, I, I say girlfriend a lot. Somebody got on me in one of my YouTube videos. 
Oh, like we don't know Morgan's your girlfriend. You have to keep calling her. Yeah, she's my girlfriend, bro. That's what you call him. Your girlfriend. My Australian girlfriend. Who happens to be a weapon. All right? You mad, bro? Don't get mad. Next up, she eats popcorn. I haven't had popcorn in a while. Every time I go to a movie, she eats popcorn. So every night, she eats popcorn. Now her popcorn, not macro friendly at all. So I'm like, I can't be doing that. So my popcorn is Healthy Pop. None of this is a sponsor post. I just find one that has per servings. You ready for it? One cup popped, 20 calories. Two tablespoons unpopped. Reading calories, guys, they try to make it as difficult as possible. So there's 2.5 servings per bag, and one serving is two tablespoons, which is 110 calories. All right, I give up. Everything here is under 110 calories. Um, but, so there's 110 calories, there's two and a half servings in a bag, so that'd be roughly 275, no, I guess 200, 260 calories. Look how much that makes. For 270 calories, if you eat the whole thing, 275 calories. But again, you should share this with your loved ones, or don't eat the whole thing. Have some willpower. But, as far as popcorns go, this is pretty good. Most of them have like 10 grams of fat per serving. This one has two. Most have about the same number of carbs, which is 24, but my carbs are still 350. And sometimes late at night, I need my carbohydrates. Protein, a whopping two per serving. If you have carb macros, this is what you need to hit up late at night when you're watching Michael Jordan series. What was the one? Too Hot to Handle. The other one we've been watching is The Outer Banks. You want some popcorn? Yeah, Do you want some of this one? Yeah, probably. This isn't a good one. Maybe just because I feel like it's not watch. It's like putting vegetables in front of hops. I was like, yeah. You wanna know what Morgan snacks on? Ice cream popsicles. Oh, yeah. Babe. What? What? One bar only has 120 calories. That's not too bad. Not too bad, babe. Sorry, uh, to be included in this video, it has to have 100 or 110 calories. Oh, so it missed out by 10 calories? You did, sorry. <laughs> okay. Where's our dog? Hobbs! Um, we're good. The next healthy snack has gotten me through so many contest preps. When you're contest prepping, macros are like gold. Gold, I tell you. You're starving, you want something. Sugar-free gum, I'm chewing on that. I'm drinking BCA flavored water, just, just for some kind of flavor. This next one, when I discovered it, it was a heaven send. It just changed the game for me. Late at night, I get that hankering, and what would I go for? Boom, boom, boom! Sugar-free, oh, I had it upside down. Sugar-free Jello. The reason I love Jello, it's a texture thing. Jello just feels good on your teeth, and it tastes good. This is orange. It tastes amazing. What you do, take a whole packet, pour it in, some hot water, and then uh, stir it to two minutes till it dissolves. Then you stir in some cold water, refrigerate for four hours, and it makes, boom, eight one half cup servings or just a big ass bowl. Well, that's what we do. So 10 calories per serving. In this, there was eight servings. So 80 calories, one gram of protein for each calorie. So there's basically, there's eight grams of protein in here. And I'm sure I don't wanna know where this gelatin comes from, cow hooves or something. Oh, it tastes amazing. You can either not eat disgusting cow hooves or be lean, your choice. Snack number three. We have this in the house every day, don't we? Morgan likes it just as much as I do. You love Jello, huh? They call it jelly in, in Australia. I turned Morgan onto it and now she makes it for me. Teach Amanda fish, she'll feed you forever. Next up is another one of my old dieting tricks that when in quarantine, when you get that, that itching for something tasty and you have that option of eating a tub of ice cream or a pre-filled snack pack. I go for the pre-filled snack pack. These have 60 calories per serving. It's pretty good. Only 60 calories for a pudding pack. Three fat, 11 carbohydrates, five sugar alcohol, so you don't wanna eat too many of these. That will turn your bum hole into an unhappy situation. I like the, just the straight vanilla. And I'm a savage right now. If you don't look at the top, you're just a wasteful chump. People out there suffering in places from quarantine who don't have snack packs and you're not even licking the top, who are you? It's just delicious. Mm. Babe, do you like these? Yeah, I do. It's so good. I know I look like a kid eating this, but literally, it satisfies that need. I, I can have this or a tub of ice cream. You choose. I'm gonna feel really bad if I open this one because then I'm not gonna have it for later. You only get four in a pack, so I try to savor these. Tub of ice cream, I open that, it's gonna be gone probably in an hour. So this, I eat it. Sometimes I'll do this. You know those people? I hate those people actually. People that take a bite of ice cream and, and don't take it all, they just do this. Like, put it on the spoon, who does that? Do you do that? I do that. 
Do it upside down. Mm. Plug it out. Mm -hmm. 60 calories, that's all that is. Mmm. <laughs> all right, next up. So let's take a minute and just appreciate Parker's laptop. This is my childhood. Now, Parker wasn't alive for this. Did you actually ever play this? Uh-uh. You didn't? You <laughs> no, never played that? I didn't that? play that one. Such a dope game. What was it called? Oh, I'll, I'll think of it. Uh... Something Go, no, what is it? Moto, no. It's such an awesome game. This is what MTV looked like back in the day, but I don't know who that is, PWR. This hat and this jacket, definitely had this growing up. This looks like Toon Squad or Looney Tunes. What is this? Rona, Corona Squad. Ah. I actually got all these 90s ones right here Yep. from this giveaway they were doing a 90s theme. Do you know what's cool about this? Do you know what these are? Jordans. They are Jordans. We've been watching the Last Dance documentary. Stay right there. Just one second, I'll be right back. This one's Fresh Prince too. Boom! Almost the exact same <laughs> pair of shoes. Exactly the same. Definitely the same color. Literally, the only difference is the swoosh and then this part. I think I'm gonna wear these tonight, actually, to watch episode four. Proud of you, man. What was that game called? Excite Bike. I think that was it. Can we get some clarification on this? I'm going with that. Yeah, my buddy made the Excite Bite one, and then the Fresh Prince one, and the Rona Squad one. Chipper dot design on Instagram. Shout out. All right, guys. Something I've never had until about a month ago. About a week ago. It is sugar-free, soft eating licorice. It's Australian. Australia's what is it, babe? Daryl Lee. Yeah. Established 1927. These are amazing. Why? Because they're soft. Oh, and they're sugar-free. So for three pieces, which happens to be what's left in this bag, only 90 calories. That's a decent little snack. The thing about snacking though is guys, you need to portion it out beforehand. That's why I like the snack packs. If I just go in and sit on the couch with this bag, sure it's not gonna be awful, it's not gonna be the end of the world, but it's much better if I do this and go sit on the couch. Cause then what am I gonna do? I'm gonna make this laugh. So I'm gonna take little nibbles, it's an art. There's an art of snacking. In fact, maybe I'm gonna set up a company one day that sends out little different types of snacks and it's called the art of snacking. When you snack, you can't be taking big bites. I did this for so many years and it just leaves you wanting more. So little bites, enjoy it, predetermine how much you're gonna eat and then don't go back for more. Fit your macros. It's not about saying you can't have this, you can't have that, you can't have that. It's about making sure you know what you're putting in your mouth, how much you're putting in your mouth instead of just mindlessly eating. That's what we're going for. So I'm not saying you can't snack. I'm just saying be smarter about your snack. All right guys, bring your way over here. Cause there is one thing I snack on that doesn't fit the under 110 calories, but I love it. Morgan, who bought all these bars? Who bought them all? I know, you did. I'm not sponsored by these guys, but I eat one once a day and you eat one once a day. Sometimes we share. And they're expensive, they're like $3 something a I have some good news. I haven't told you what well, they're gonna send us some because I reached out to them and they actually gave- I that I just spent like $50 on them. I should have told them. Babe, I'll reimburse you. Morgan spent $50 on these. I ate them so much that I reached out to them and they actually gave me a code. If you guys order, you get 20% off and free shipping. My code is COOK, just COOK, C-O-O-K. So 20% off and free shipping on G2G bars. My personal favorite is the peanut butter chocolate or the almond butter chocolate. And this is what I do. I make it last all day, so it kind of fits. I put one of these in here, and then I know when I'm done with it, I'm done with it. So I have to make it last all day. A lot of time a little mouse gets in there, and eats the other part of it though. His name's not Hobbs either. That mouse's name is Morgan. Well, if you eat some, I gotta eat some. That's how it works. That is how our relationship works. Also, people think we're engaged after today's Instagram post. I made just a nice pose. We took a pretty picture in Australia. The caption makes it the seem- The caption was damning. Yeah, the caption makes it seem, and then I put the infinity symbol, so it was kind of, so. Why you that face? I thought it was cute. I don't have a, the face is just, I feel like I, I, I lie to people. But, maybe one day, babe. Babe, you pick up what I'm putting down? Yeah, I'll pick up what you put down. They can't see me winking, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we do snack a little bit, but when we're done snacking, the other most important thing is to get outside. You guys wanna get outside? Let's go ride the Polaris. You guys haven't really been in the Polaris in a long time, so let's go ride the Polaris. <laughs> Corona going on, I've had to explore the neighborhood a little bit more. This is why I'm glad I live in the country and not in the city. So let's take the Polaris out, get a little mud on the tires. I only have 166 miles on this thing. We need to double that by next week. Let's ride.
Alright guys, it's another good way to, uh, I guess, if you're in quarantine, social distancing, uh, go out and explore your area. Even if you don't have a cool toy like this, shout out to Polaris, they actually sent me this back in the day, about a year ago. So it's been that long and I haven't had the opportunity to take it out. Only 166 miles. Actually what I want to do, if this video gets 100 likes, we'll say 1,000. 1,000 likes. We're going to take this bad boy in and we're going to get it all decked out. This is a roof rack tent. I want to put the roof rack tent on top of the Polaris. So we can take the Polaris out and just camp in the tent on top of the Polaris. I think that that would be just be my favorite thing ever. So we're gonna take it in, do some cool things to it. Maybe get a stereo system in there, but this has to get a thousand likes for that to happen. So this thing's a bad looking machine. Let me know if you guys have any uh, ideas on modifications or what we should do to it. Cause I'm pretty new to this. Living in St. George, Utah, it's probably one of the best places to do this. Quarantine has forced me to get out and uh, have a little fun outside. Thank you guys for watching and let's get this thing modded out. So give me a thousand likes, subscribe if you're not, and we'll see you next time.